Welcome to our lecture online. When we're multiplying two complex numbers and one is the conjugate of the other, what does that mean? Well, notice here we have 2 minus 7i and 2 plus 7i. They look identical except the sign is different. Well, when that happens, you end up with a product where the imaginary part disappears and you only have a real part left. Let's show you why that is the case. So here again, we're going to use the same technique, multiply the 2 times each of the 2 terms here, and the minus 7i times each of the 2 terms. So this becomes 2 times 2, which is 4. 2 times a positive 7i, which gives us 14i. 2 times a negative 7i gives us a negative 14i, and here it's quite clear why the imaginary part disappears. Should be an i right there. And then we multiply these two together, we get a minus 49i squared. So when those two disappear, that leaves us with 4 minus 49i squared. But then again, i squared is equal to negative 1, so negative 1 times the negative becomes positive. So this is equal to 4 plus 49, which is equal to 53. So why do I have the same problem a second time? Well, once you realize that the middle term disappears, all you need to do is say, well, that's 2 times 2, which is equal to 4, and negative 7i times a positive 7i is a minus 49i squared, but then i squared is a negative 1, that becomes plus 49, so it's simply the positive of the product of those two numbers, which is 49, which is equal to 53. So once you realize that the middle term disappears, and the last term simply becomes the product of those two numbers, and that becomes a positive, 49 always, add the two together, you get the result. Over here we can do it like this in a vertical direction, 7 times a minus 7i gives us a minus 49 i squared, 7i times 2 gives us a plus 14i, 2 times a negative 7i gives us negative 14i, and 2 times 2 gives us a 4. When we add all those together, we get 4 plus 0, the middle term do drops out, and here you get 49, negative 49 times i squared, but i squared is negative 1, that becomes plus 49, and so that becomes 53 as the final result. So notice, Multiplying a, a complex number by its conjugate gives you just a real number, and it's rather easy to figure out. It's simply 4 plus 49 is 53, and that's as simple as it gets.